Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji and in this video we are going to model a house in Revit. Uh, before we start, I'm going to check the units. It's UN, the shortcut for units, and their length. I would like to go with millimeters, zero decimal places. OK and OK. Uh, I have level one, but first I want to create other levels too. So I'm going to one of my uh, elevations, or you can also create a section so that we have a vertical view such as this one, so we can create more views. The shortcut for levels is double L, or under architecture, level is here, you see double L. Uh, I'm going to offset this level one. I know that, uh, well, I'm working in millimeters, but I know that the level to level height is eight feet. If I put number eight and uh, the sign for a feet, it's going to automatically give me the number. So I'm going to go with eight feet. Uh, one level below is going to give me the basement. One level up, I'm going to hit escape. Uh, where it says level three, I'm going to click and I'm going to actually name it the basement level. And where it says level four, I'm going to click and I'm say uh, that this is level two. Uh, actually, and uh, I want to type LL. I want to go with one more uh, level and I'm going to go another eight feet. So this is going to be uh, the top of the roof plate. How about I name it roof plate? Okay, uh, now let's see. Here it says 1 to 96. That's because I had uh, I have been working in Imperial before. Actually, I want to change this to 1 to 100, so it makes more sense. I want to go with hidden line here. Now it's better. Uh, so I added these levels. Uh, if you don't see your levels in floor plan, you see it's just level 1 and side. You can go with view. Plan view, floor plans, and I want to say add these three, OK, and it's going to also show in my floor plans. Uh, I'm going to go back to my level one, uh, or actually, I'm going to go back to the elevation view I was working with. Uh, I also need one garage level, which is about 400 millimeters lower than level one. So I'm going to add one more level here, architecture, levels, and let's say I want to offset this line by 400 millimeters. I'm going to click here. So I have, this is uh, my garage level. Uh, if there is a little bit of uh, overlapping here, you can click on one of these, add an elbow. Now it looks nicer. I want to name this my garage level maybe. And uh, let's say I also want to have this in the floor plan. So I'll go back to view, plan view, floor plan, garage level. So that's good. Let's also say, in addition to basement, I need one more layer here, which is going to be the top of foundation. Um, because I already have a basement, maybe I'll just go below for another 600 millimeters here. So I'm going to type uh, LL, peak level, offset, let's say I'll go with uh, 3 meters below gray, so it's 3000. And I want to offset from level one here and I'll make uh, hit escape, add another elbow. And this is going to be the top of uh, foundation. That's not a bad way of uh, putting it, top of foundation. Here for the roof plate, I, I could also add T slash O, which is top of roof plate. Uh, when it says, do you want to rename corresponding views? I want to say yes, for sure. So it's going to rename that in view as well. Uh, okay, I know the numbers look a little, a little bit weird, maybe in millimeters, but um, because the the house was designed in Imperial, uh, it's basically uh, eight feet, eight feet, eight feet. Top of the foundation, let's say maybe I also want that one to be here too. So plan view, floor plan, top of foundation, hit OK, all good. So how about I go level by level, maybe level one. And uh, I already have some information about this house. Actually, it's an existing house, so I just want to insert and import the DWG files so you wouldn't worry about dimensions. So I'll go with import cat DWG. I'll go with level one. I want to change this to black and white. Uh, and it's going to only go with black and white. Everything else is good. Let's say open. That's good. 
I'll go with my basement level. Here I want to also insert another import CAD. Basement, same setting, black and white, OK, and open. And finally on level 2, on level 2 I also want to import the CAD file for level 2. Black and white, open. You can also see them in 3D. Uh, they seem to be aligned nicely. Uh, I can also double check if they are aligned or not. How? Maybe here. Uh, I know that they are sharing the same top right corner or top left corner. I'm going to draw some reference plane here just to make sure that this corner is the same in all the DWG files. So I do two reference planes or RP. Uh, if I see the exact same reference plane here on level 2 and basement and level 1, it seems that it's all good. So how about I start by drawing either my level 1 level or basement level. It's easier to work from bottom to top, so I'm going to go with uh, basement level. See, um, I have some walls here already. Uh, the reason you see some of these walls are thicker is that they are holding more weight on the left side rather than the right side. Uh, this is actually an existing building. That's why you see there is also some um, weird uh, designs here. So I'm, uh, I'm just going to follow what the design is. If, I, if you type DI or for dimension, you can also measure how thick the walls are. Uh, so... Based on that, you know which wall to go with. I'm on the basement level. I'll go with architecture, wall. Um, actually, I have my walls in uh, inches here. I started in an yeah, imperial file before. Uh, if I just quickly want to know which wall is which one, uh, it seems that these walls are 3 or, four, three or 5 millimeters, and that one is... 419 and this one is 356. Again, the reason you see that we have so many different numbers here is that it's an uh, existing building. I actually measured uh, everything here. So uh, let's say for the thicker wall, which is 457, get uh, inch to millimeter. So I want to know what is my 457 millimeter. 457 is actually an 18. 18 inches uh, wall. So I'm going to go with, Jeanette, with this uh, wall. Uh, I have not drawn the wall layers um, because it was my purpose was to work on the inside of the house on the finishes. Uh, but you can also create the layers of the wall. I'll go with this one for now. So I selected the wall 18 inches, which is 457 millimeter. I'm going to go with finish face exterior. I want to go from basement to uh, if I show you on the south view here, we're going to start this wall from basement and it's going to go all the way up to level 1. So that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to go with uh, the wall, finish face exterior, and uh, I'm going to change this to level 1. Uh, and automatically it's reading the height here. So let's click somewhere around here and somewhere around here. When you set something to finish face exterior, it's better to go clockwise. Then it's going to be on the right side of the lines here. So this is my wall right now and this is my DWG file. Uh, I can grab this area. You can also use a line to align this edge with the file. How, how does a line work? AL is the shortcut for a line. Select the source line and then select the wall line. So this is one of my walls. This other wall is 419, uh, which is uh, about 17 inches. I'll go with another wall. Uh, I think it should be this one. I'm going to go with same settings which is finish face exterior basement to level one one click here if it's the same line here you can also click once here and i can keep going it seems that my other walls here are 356 uh, which is the 14 inches wall i'm going to go with the wall with the 14 inches I'm going to create this part of the wall. Let's go with the next one, which is again 14 inches here and here. My next wall seems to be thinner. It's 05, which is 
uh, 12 inches so I'm gonna go with my next wall here uh, I have a wall for the basement one click here one click here and I'll keep going around the building because the rest of them are the same size I create this uh, detail later so if I click on the walls type HH for a second you see that I have all the walls here what does HH do? HH temporarily hides something. It's like if I select something, go with the glasses and go with hide element, and I can bring it back by resetting. So if you want to compare your model with a DWG file, you can go with um, typing HH here. It's going to hide the DWG. Uh, so what do I have in 3D right now? I have my um, overall basement walls the exterior basement walls uh, what i need next is actually some foundation here that goes till uh, the basement uh, i also need to have a section for sure so i'm going to draw a section let's reset the temporary height view i'm going to draw a section you can also get rid of these dimensions view section i'm going to draw a larger section and if I go here, so basically this is uh, my walls. I can click on this crop region, move it up, and move this to the left. So this is what I have so far. So I need to create some foundation walls going a little bit lower. Uh, based on the largest wall that I have here, which is this one, which is 18 inches, how about I go with foundation walls, which are also... Uh, 18 inches maybe so how does it work I can go to my foundation level top of foundation and this is a DWG again I want to go with uh, architecture walls this time I'm gonna go with uh, 8 inches wall because it's gonna be a different wall type than this one I'm gonna go with edit type duplicate and I'm gonna name it the foundation wall okay if I go to edit type I can change the material uh, of the foundation wall to concrete. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to look for some concrete material. Maybe I'll go with uh, this one. OK, OK, and OK. So uh, as for the foundation wall, I'm going to go with um, finish face exterior or actually I might change this to finish face interior because I want to flush the interior side of the foundation wall with the interior side of the wall above it's going to go from top of foundation up to level basement that's good so I'm going to start from this edge and I'm just going to go clockwise I'm going to go with the same foundation wall no matter um, what's the thickness of the wall above so I'll go there over there over there over here and finally back here okay so if I look at it in 3d that is my foundation wall uh, it's always good to have some uh, footing which means if I go with uh, structure if I go with this one it's going to create some foundation uh, for the foundation wall Right, so I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hover the mouse around one of the foundation walls, hit tab once, one click, and it's going to create. Let's create a floor. Uh, let me just keep my basement and section view for a second. I'm going to hit double, uh, WT. WT puts your view side by side. Uh, my section is going too far back. I want to limit the range to here. So I only see what's happening here on the edges. Now, if you look at it on this other view, see that, and I can change this to fine level of detail so you can see the hatches. See the inside of the foundation wall is uh, flushed with the inside of the um, basement wall. Now, in order to draw the floors, we usually want the floor to be from the inside to the inside of the foundation wall. Right, so I'm gonna go with architecture floor. Maybe I'll go with a, a 10 inch floor, and I want to select either the walls or the lines. 
right? Uh, if you pick the walls, try to click on the inside of the wall, uh, right? Or if it accidentally selects the other side of the wall, you can hit escape, select the line and flip it inside, right? You can you either use pick walls or pick line and just select the interior part of uh, the wall. Uh, you should have one closed loop at the end. So when something like this happens, go with trim, trim and trim. So it's going to be one single loop. Trim, trim. And trim this edge as well. As soon as you hit finish edit mode, it's going to create it. For this message, where we have foundation wall, I'm going to say don't attach because if I say attach, it's going to move the top of the foundation wall lower. So I'm going to go with don't attach. And now this is the floor. As I told you, I want it to go from inside to uh, inside here. For now, I'm going to assume that I have the same material and the finish, uh, but later I might need to uh, adjust the floors to accommodate for separate finishes.